remember, it ain't no joke. If you don't pay that note, yeah. Hey, Freud. Freud. Yeah. Yeah. Come here. Bang on the walls. Okay, thank you. Hey, we got a car. You and Matt go pick up this car. It's supposed to be there right now. It's in Van Nuys. And I don't want to hear no crap that is hot. <laughs> Come on, man. Just go handle it, and I'll buy you guys some ice cream when we're done some soda. They said the car's sitting there right now, that the client spotted it or something. It's up to you. You don't want to take. <laughs> That's your boy, man. Take take. Um, you know what? I really, really, really love doing repos like this. I just love it. I mean, you never know what you're going to find. And this is a very good example of what you never know what you're going to find. A 92 Nissan Quest. Hey, they said go pick up. Match to it. Lou said go pick it up. We have to go pick it up. I always laugh at these kind of repos because, um, I don't know, I think that van was probably worth about 800 bucks. And the fact that someone financed it kind of is kind of funny to me. That's a, um, that's a new SunQuest right there, bro. The white one. Can you hey, look, 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 look. The one that is moving? Yeah, dude. Let me, do we have a plate on there? No, I don't have a plate, just have it in. Let me turn around just okay, in case. Okay, okay. Not I think someone's in there, though. It's moving. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. You notice that? I think someone's moving the nasty. You pull up to a vehicle and it's moving up and down. Um, I don't think they're sitting down playing Nintendo. <laughs> wow. Somebody's doing something not right. You know what? One of the things I can tell you is that we all you know, down that particular um, type of game they were playing. But usually you want to do it in the nighttime, you know, when it's dark and nobody can really see you and nobody can just pull up to you and try to hook up to a car that you're playing Nintendo in. Stop! Stop! Quick on the Are you serious? Back, back up! Stop! Stop! Back, back up! Well, I haven't been in that situation since I was a teenager. Um, but ever since I could afford a hotel room, I didn't go in the back seat of my mother's van or car. Just give me a break for a second. Back up, no, you ain't back, up back up, back up, back up from me. What the are you doing? What the are you doing? Why do you gotta go there with that? Who are you? What, what are you guys doing? doing? This is... Talk to them. We're looking for Gloria. Where's Gloria? Talk to them, quick. Gloria, where are you? Where are you? Talk to Gloria. It's my car, dog. Okay, where's Gloria? Who's Gloria? Gloria, that's my mom. That's your mom? Hey. Just watch him real quick. Watch him real quick. Yeah, what the f they trying to take the car? Yeah. I don't know where another guy comes out. I have no idea where he came from, but he had a bat, and I'm trying to calm everybody down. Everybody's screaming. Everybody's yelling. I'm just trying to tell him to re please relax. Just calm down. I'm trying to hook up my side, and Matt starts fighting. Easy, man. Easy, easy. Back up. Back up. Back up. In this particular repo, the guy had uh, had a bat in his hand. And I had the opportunity to come up from behind him and get it away from him. But um, chances are, if he was coming at me front, you know, straight on with that bat, I probably would have gotten the truck and ran. Come on. What you and I don't know what's going on the other side. I just know Matt can take care of himself, so I'm not really worried about him. But I want to make sure that I take the quick pins out and I try to hook up the car as fast as I can. Hey, that's the mom's car. Okay. Mom's car. Then where's your, mom? where's your mom? Where's your mom? Where's your mother? Where's your mother? Which completely killed our plan to try to just get there fast and hook up and take off, you know, because by that time the people that were inside the truck came out and started yelling and I can't talk to you. So I can't I can't talk to you. You can't take the car. Listen, you can't take the car. Dog. Listen, you can't take the car does not belong to you. The car does not belong to you. It doesn't matter. Where's your mom? Is, where's your mom's at? It's my mom's car. Is she? It's I'm asking everything. you, where is she? I don't know what the doing. Where's where is your mother at? That's you know what she's I work right now. The police. Okay, she's then you need to call her and tell her that we came to pick up the car. You know what? Once, once, once she makes the payment, once she makes the payment, listen, once she makes the payment, listen. Once she makes it, once she makes it, you know, when people push you and stuff like that, it's no big deal. I mean, unless you're going to punch you, then it's a different thing. You know, but just pushing, especially a woman, I can't really do anything. Boy, boy, either get on the police or, or, or let's get the. Hey, man. No, you, bitch. You're going to get all of you. That's not my love. We're going to get. 
Just watch him. Just watch him. You ain't gonna do shit. Touch my fing truck. I ain't your homie, baby. I ain't your fing homie. Get off the get off the truck, man. Get off you, man. Get off. You fing you, dog. You know what? I have a lot of a lot of confidence in Matt. I mean, uh, Matt's six foot tall and he's 260 pounds of almost pure muscle. Get off, man! Get off! I'm cracking. Get off! Just watch. Him. Just watch. Him. Oh no, no, dude! This no, no, is gonna no. keep this. No. You gotta hurry up, Troy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a real man. I'm a real man. Come on, Jack. I got it from you, didn't I, sweetness? Back up. Move, man. Move. Back up. Hey, you. Back up. What the. Back up! What the f Back up! I told you to back up! I told you to leave that shit alone. Did it back up? Didn't I say to leave that shit alone? Leave it alone. Leave it alone. I'm trying to be nice to you until you call you mine. You don't want to call it the it's your problem. Matt has a very short temper. You know, he, um, I had the lady, what, the girl, when she come out, she was calling me her homie and she was pushing me and slapping me on my arm and I just told her to please relax and Matt right away is like, bro, you should just grab her by her neck and just slap her around and, you know, I, I can't do that. I mean, we're already taking your vehicle. I don't need to get physical with you. Yeah, you better get You ain't gonna get Let's go, man. Get the out of Dodge. Let's go. I'm gonna catch your ass next. You ain't gonna get shit, bitch. Why, mother Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Apparently they couldn't afford to um, pay for a hotel room and that's why they couldn't afford to pay for their car either. But um, if you're going to go play hide the salami somewhere, you should find a darker, quieter street. Anyways, uh, Matt, we're looking for a 2006 Yaris. And I'm really personally already getting tired of this because you know we've already been to that address. We were actually working on an account. We were looking for a little Toyota Yaris, a little, little itty bitty car. You know what? Do me a favor and just turn around here. I'm gonna call my brother at the office. If we got any other addresses we could hit while we're out here. Recovery. Yeah. Told Matt. You know what? Okay. Right, hold on. I don't know. We're gonna go hit another address if we can't. You know, obviously. We need to go home or whatever, you know? So I uh, went ahead and uh, called my brother. She hangs out at that plaza right on the corner. Um, yeah, 1700 block. You got it, okay? Yeah, she's either at the subways or she hangs out at uh, the pizza joint right there. The car was spotted there before we got an informant. All right, cool. Call me, let me know what happens. I don't know how my dad found this out, but... Uh... The tip Sonia that these people like eating pizza. It's a little <laughs> banger. Yeah, it's a tiny car. Let's put it this way, none of us have fit in it. I wouldn't be driving it, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> well, ain't this some <laughs> What's in front of us? Okay, Linda, it? Linda, here. Yeah. Do me a favor, uh, 8942. Those are the, that's for the VIN. Check it out, tell me if that's our car. All right. 8942? Yeah, we're gonna need the keys on that. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm gonna do? And meanwhile, while we're doing that, Matt's getting kind of upsetty because somehow he has a little problem with Linda. I'm telling you, I can't work with her. She's gonna, she's melting my brain. Hey, that's our car. All right, block it. All right, I'll get out of there. All right, so it's already beeping. Because we could have a car with a plate on it, and yeah, it could, it could be our plate, but we have to still verify the vent because. Hey, it might be a different damn car with our freaking plate on it and our VIN doesn't match and we'll be in big trouble to run the wrong car. You know what? Get over here. Come on with me. It's blocked. It ain't going nowhere. All right. I'll be right back. I'm going to go with Sonia. I guess we're going to this pizza. Hey, Matt, chill right there. Let's see if I can get the keys if this chick's right. here. Is it this one? Nah. No. Yeah, I let Sonia basically um, take charge of the situation and, and kind of dictate the way the things are going to roll. Uh, she had said that she wanted to go in and, and talk to the ROs. I was just going to stay out and block the car, make sure no one got to it. Hi. Um, which of you are Charisse? You? Okay, hi. My name is Sonia. Um, I have a repossession order for your car. What? Yeah, I have a repossession order for your car, your little Yaris. So what I will need to do is for to collect no, the key. I don't think so. Is yeah, this a we joke? do. No. No, sweetie, this isn't a joke. Okay, we're here I for your car. It's not gonna work. When was the last time you made a payment? Uh, it's like last month. Do you have a receipt with you? 
I mean, because if you can produce a receipt right now, well, I'll leave the car. Excuse me. I mean, what is it like? I mean, I'm not sitting in my home. I don't have a receipt with me. Hey, that's the only way I can leave the car. That's the only way. <laughs> You're not serious. Okay. Like yeah. And right away, there's always some person that has to butt in the conversation, which happens to be a friend. And I only really want to deal with you because you're yeah. the owner of the car. You got, so, I believe, it's a purse or something. So you have some property in there. If you don't want to be charged for it, you need to give me the keys. Charge for my property? You got yes. charged for the keys. Exactly. You know what? You need, you you need to you, you, you need to shut shut up. Okay. Yeah. Oh no! All right. No, first of all, friend to shut up. First of all, Who all I need. We're in an establishment. I have the manager yelling and complaining. And then all of a sudden, it's a big, humongous yelling match. I mean, you probably hear it a mile away. So I decided, you know what, Linda, let's get out of here. We're going to drag the car, blah, 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 blah. And then here comes Matt. Hey, hey what's going on? Oh, let's go. Oh, Calm down. Yeah, okay. yeah. I only need I'm to deal with you, okay? After a few minutes, I didn't think it was going too well in there. I decided to go and see what was happening. Matt's there, then I'll, then he starts blocking me from getting into the establishment because the gal's yelling at me through the window. And let me tell you, I wanted to go in there and just demolish her. Because I was pissed. No, 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 no. Matt, if no, that would have been you, you wouldn't have wanted to stop Honey, honey, we're going to go to jail for this. Matt, we're going to go to jail for this. I want the f key right now. Okay, I'll get the key. I'll get the key. Matt, all right, Linda, hold on. Get the key. You got to back up. All right, get the key. He would have snapped those ladies in half. And he's trying to calm us down, saying, no, you're overreacting. Don't worry about it. Saying whatever it is I'm saying. And that just pissed me off even more. Both of you better back up. Matt, go in there and get the key. Okay, don't come behind me. That shit happened to him. He scared the crap out of that lady. She's in the back, like hiding behind this like little little door back there, a little wooden door, and I'm just like, yeah, you're not so tough now, are you? Like, you're scared now. I understand that. I'm trying to be calm here. Come on, drag that car down the street. No, it's escalating. Let's go, let's go, let's go. No, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. All right, bitch. We got the keys, that's all we need. All right, bitch, we'll see you in the Once a lady acts like that, she ceases to be a lady, and therefore, uh, it gives me a little open ground to treat them as such. Who has the keys? Get the keys. Damn it. Are you kidding? And I admit, as a professional, I don't really have that, that um, option to get angry and to lose control. But I did. I lost control. Let's you got go. the You got it? Go. But then I have to understand that he's there to protect, you know, everybody. Because if something wants to happen to the crew, and Matt's responsible, he has to answer to me. Matt, come Cut. on! Shut the f up, I'm not getting the car! Honestly, I do get fed up with it, and it's different when it's my dad or Sonia, because, you know, we're family. Freud doesn't really do it that much, but when I get that from Matt, it's like, excuse me, like, you don't have the right or you're in no place to yell and scream at me like that. <laughs> And this is a thing that he has. He always wants to be control the situation. Look it. If I say, let's go, it's for you to go. Come on, Matt. You, you need to deal with the program, homie. Yeah, we got the car, we drove it off, and it was all Jim Dandy. But let me tell you, I still wasn't happy. Because I think it could have gone a little bit more smoother than the way it went out. They learn by their mistakes. They correct them. They move forward. That's why we are in this position now, because I have a team of professionals. I love my job. In this particular repossession, uh, we were looking for a pickup truck that the guy was behind on his payments. So uh, it seemed like it was going to be just your, your average repo, you know, till we get to the address. 
tell me it ain't gonna be this dump. It's probably one of these. Uh, yep, this is it right here. This is it. Dude. Damn, they got a lot of cars in here. Now, I get to the address, I'm there with my sister, and um, it's huge. The yard is huge. There must have been about 20, 30 cars scattered all over this property. Uh, we were there to look for uh, an F-150, I believe it was. Okay, you know what? Look at all these trucks here. Well, they're all shit kickers. Okay, I don't want anybody noticing the truck driving around, so why don't you get off, go to that yard over there, see if the truck's here. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna go to the back here, see if it's in the back. There's a Ford back there blocked in, but I don't think that's it. So why don't you go over there? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and check over there. And he sent me to the other direction, which was on the left side, because there was a couple vehicles. There was a truck, but I, you couldn't really see it from far away. I actually had to walk over there to see if it was our truck we were looking for. I don't know, ready to see. Motorhome. Cars. There's probably dogs back here too, Yo. man. Yeah. So um, as I was driving in the back, I see my sister point to the truck. Hi. How you doing? I think that's it over there. Oh, you know what? Just yeah, trying to do my it. job, you know? So I took a little walk. There was a guy actually working in the back of a truck. And yeah, it was the truck we were looking for. I verified the van and obviously I kind of just skedaddled a little bit because the guy said, hey, you know, and I just making conversation like, you know, I'm one of the groups there on the property. And then I just told my brother, hey, you know what? This is, this is our truck. Terry Smith? Okay, well, guess what? We have an order for repossession on this truck. Um, you have the no keys way. for it? You have the keys for it? Uh, no, he doesn't. Okay, um, what are you doing? Cleaning it up? Uh, no, okay. I use this for work. Okay, well, okay, you don't have the keys for it? Huh? No. You don't have the keys for it? Okay, look, we have a repossession order. Where's your boss at? Uh, he should be here in a while, but... Okay, uh, well, okay. What's well, we don't problem? really need your boss to be here. Huh? We really don't need your boss to be here. It's locked. You can't take the trucks in like that. Right? Okay, I got it locked. Okay. Lock the door for hey, you. Anyways, let me explain to you, okay? First of all, I'm giving you the courtesy to let you know what we're doing here. Okay, hey, 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 don't, don't start that monkey hey, stuff relax, dude. where you, you start trying to get up on the hey, truck. Hey, 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 your hey. truck, you don't want to go to jail for your boss. Hey, relax. Well, hey, he's letting me, bro. Okay, she's trying okay. to explain to you what's going on. Listen to her. Listen, we have an order for repossession on the truck, okay? I'm giving you the courtesy letting you know why I'm on this property, okay? Because I have the right to be on here, okay? Let your, let your boss ahead, know that he didn't pay it. his bill and we're taking the truck. He was walking side by side with my brother, talking and, you know, talking to smack like usual. You know, people, I don't know why they get involved, especially when they're, they're not the owner of the vehicle. They don't need to be talking. They don't need to say nothing. You don't want to get you involved. Know what? My brother's dad is a lawyer, man. He's going take you guys to jail. Yeah, whatever. Well, then let him deal with it, man. There's no you issue. Relax, okay? Man, I hope All right, you know. relax, dude. Stop it already. Stop it, dude. Come on. Dude, get, that, get off the truck. What are you doing, man? Are you crazy? You're gonna go to jail, man. I'm, give, me hey! the, give me the pepper spray. Give me the pepper spray. Finally, I had to push this guy. He jumps up again. I had to slap his arm because he was scratching me. You know, um, it was ridiculous. You know, this guy was acting ridiculous for a truck that's not even his. Damn, bro, things about to get crazy right oh, now. Man. I think that's the boss that just cut in front of us. Oh my gosh, you gotta be joking me, man. Oh my gosh, you gotta be joking me, man. At that point, the timing was very bad because the boss is pulling up in his personal car. Look at that. What the? Idiot. What's your problem, man? What's your problem? Hey, relax. Hey, relax, okay? Move your car the way you're gonna go to jail. Sorry, hey. Hey, you need to back off, okay? Move, move your piece of shit out of the way, boy. He was really, really angry, but he was really jumpy, really hyper. I mean, this guy could have been a basketball player if he had a little bit more height to him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He went on that side, bro. Hey, hey, relax, man. What are you doing? Hey, what, what do you mean your payroll? Relax, man. Hey, relax, okay? What's in the suitcase? You got any weapons, man? Quit playing around. Why is there a camera here? Is this your car? Yes. Okay, look, we're repossessing it, man. What's the problem? What is the problem here? I can't pay, I, I've got I, the, the payroll for how much is, company. It's how much money is in there? Thousands of dollars. Come here, come here, car. get this right here. How much is in there? How I, much is no, in there? I, I'm not gonna say Dude, something, you, I don't I, know I'm where I'm gonna call the cops, I'm gonna take the suitcase. $50,000, Okay, there's $50,000 in there, okay? Cause I'm not gonna be responsible for that 
You know, we have it on tape. This guy says there's $50,000 in the case. He didn't want to show it to us, but um, we do have him on tape saying it. That way, if they try to make a claim that money's missing or whatnot, it's not gonna fly. Okay. All right, calm down, man. We're not here to hurt you. Okay, you're scaring me. All right, you're, you're free to go. Just call our finance company and you can deal with them, man. Get out of we don't want any, yeah, that's it. Ma'am, I'm really sorry. Okay, yeah, whatever. thank you. So I'm gonna get on the phone and call the cops right now. Yeah. Tell them what this guy just said and what happened. Was that, that was Terry? What a, what a knucklehead. What a wiener. What happens every time they call us on the phone? Oh, I had 10 grand in the car. I had five grand in the car. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna you guys. A bunch of liars, bunch of liars. They can't even pay their damn car payment, but they're gonna have $10,000 or $50,000 in the suitcase. So we kind of, I told my brother, hey, you know what, pull to the side. We're going to have, a, the PD's going to come down. They're going to take a report, blah, 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 blah. You know, I, I'll finish calling in the truck, and then we'll take it from there. So that's what we did, and um, that covered that day. <laughs>